Good evening, Facebook family and friends. Today is Thursday, November the 9th, 2017. It's approximately 12 o'clock at night. Um, I'm up late because I was already cleaning up the kitchen. Okay, this is going to be kind of a long, short video. I'm trying to figure out how to reason to, because I've had this discussion before. I was talking with one of my Facebook friends. Oh, well, I wouldn't even say a Facebook friend. We've become very close to a young lady who lives in another state. Uh, she met through my YouTube channel. Uh, she's a woman who's out in the dating scene, and she said that uh, she said something that caught. Excuse me, come on. She said that um, she's nervous to date black guys because she's afraid she's going to end up possibly dating a man who's gay or bis bisexual. Now, when I looked a little further, I thought it was kind of odd. Um, she told me of some instances in her past where she has dated. I mean, she doesn't live in the Atlanta area. She lives someplace else. And she has dated black men and she found out that they were either later that they were gay or bisexual, or had had um, sex with another man, or had some type of sexual contact with another man. How she found this out, I'm not too exactly sure. But it started me to think. So here you have a young, attractive woman who's afraid to get out into the dating scene for fear that she might encounter a man who is gay or bisexual. That's, you know, so. Let me explain my thoughts on this. Now, let me tell some, of you, some of you are going to find this kind of controversial. Some of you might not like this. I probably get a lot of texts in the comments about what I'm about to say. But I am 47 years of age. I've lived my life in the black community my entire life as a gay man. I knew I was gay when I was in preschool. One thing I've learned about black men, and I can only talk about black men because I'm not white, I'm not Hispanic, I'm not, you know, I don't deal with those other races the way I dealt with black men. I'm around black men all day long, every day. I work in a physical fitness environment, environment. I'm in the gym all day. Around men, I've been around men all my life long. I, I, I spend a great deal of time more around men than women. So, I learned something as I grew, as, as, I, as I've grown as a person, as I've grown older and, and living in the black community, gay community, I've discovered that there are a lot of men who are bisexual, possibly gay, who all do have wives and girlfriends. And I also learned something very important. This has been going on for centuries. This is not new. This has been going on since we were in Africa. But you need to research and read this stuff. We have to understand human sexuality. We've got, as a black, the black family is being ripped apart and torn apart and a lot of confusion because we don't understand human sexuality because we're being blindsided and deceived by false religion people who morally think gays will be having, by, having homosexual sex is wrong because of their religious beliefs or whatever beliefs they have it's been going on for centuries this is not new so, I've learned from my experience that there are vast, in the black community, there is a large number. And yet I can't speak for white folks, I can't speak for Hispanics or Japanese. Or that. I can tell you all about black folks. I can tell you a lot about black men. There's a large group of black men who identify as straight but under certain circumstances, under certain situations, 
they would have sex with a man or sexual contact with another black man. This is my take on all this stuff about women being concerned about dating a gay or bisexual man. Whether your husband or wife is dating, you don't know, because they're not going to come home and tell you, I'm bisexual, I'm gay. Most won't. You won't know this unless you just so happen to discover this. Just like a man ain't come, is not going to come home and say, I'm cheating on my wife with another woman. Uh, whatever, you have to find this out on your own. I don't believe in monogamous relationships. Gay, straight, black, or white. I've never seen one. Some people argue about this until they, the blue, the, until they blue is a shirt in the face. I don't spend my time. I don't, I've never seen a monogamous relationship in my entire life. So this is the advice that I gave that young woman who was concerned about the possibility of her dating a man who was gay or bisexual. If you found a guy that was a good guy, that liked you, that loved you, and wanted to be with you, the only things that you really need to be concerned about is his love is genuine for you. That's the most important thing. That he's gonna, he wants to be there for you and with you. Love isn't going to keep somebody from going out and having sex outside of the relationship. The longer you're in a long-term relationship, there's a strong possibility, there's a high possibility, it is going to happen. Someone's going to have sex outside of that bond you and your partner have. It's bound to happen. Now, since we know this, well, I know this, if I, my, my advice to any black woman is you need to sit down and talk to your sexual partner, fiance, husband, or whoever you're having sex with. You need to educate them on protection. This is the key. You're not allowing the person to cheat. They're going to do it any damn way. Some of you might feel opposite, different about this. I don't. <laughs> I'm around too many men. I hear too many stories. I, I didn't see and heard it all over the years. I don't believe in monogamous relationships. But what I do believe is that people who are in committed relationships need to protect each other. you got to protect each other from STIs, disease, HIV, whatever that's out there floating around. Educate your partner on protecting your relationship by using condoms, if he were to step out. Make it clear to them, it's not acceptable to bring home, to our home, some type of disease. A lot of people think black folks, black gay guys are all HIV positive. That's not necessarily true, because I'm sitting here, I've been gay all my life, I'm 47 years of age, I'm not HIV positive. I've never had gonorrhea, I've never had syphilis, I've never had any of these sexually transmitted diseases. Why? Because I know to protect Walter. I know to protect myself because I know what's going on in the world. Have I made some mistakes? Have I slipped up? Oh, yeah. We, I think we've all made those mistakes. All of us. But as you live and learn and grow, you can't do that. Especially if you're in a relationship with someone. If you're in a relationship with your partner, and you're your wife or husband or whatever, and you're not, most likely, people who are in committed relationships, or marriage, or, or some type of bond, they don't practice safe sex. They don't use condoms. It may start off using condoms, but after a year, two or three into this relationship, sometimes much sooner, two or three days into the relationship, the condoms have disappeared. And now they're just having sex. Now, I'd rather she spent, I'd rather that young lady who I spoke to, I'd rather she spent her more time 
learning her sexual partner, getting to know them, and educate them on protection and don't bring nothing home. You don't want no babies from another woman, no STDs, no, no, nothing. So to focus on the fact that he might be gay, he very well could be gay. He very well could be bisexual, but does he love you? Is he providing for you? Is he putting a roof over your house? Is he coming home being a great father and husband? If that's the case, keep him. We've got to stop demonizing human sexuality because of these fake ass religious, religious, religious beliefs. These white folks have been still some very foolish stuff. And I, and I don't, I, let me take that back. Society has instilled some very foolish stuff to us about human sexuality. And you can find, if you go out there and read a book, go to a public library and go, go online and learn what is human sexuality? How does it come about? Educate yourselves so you understand why a person is gay or bisexual or whatever. Just can't take it upon yourself and say, well, I think that's immoral because of what I read in chapter verse, verse 7 of John, Matthews, whoever. Look. Like I said, I know a lot of men who live their lives, and I hate to use this term DL, but they're, they're married, have girlfriends, have children, but they still have sexual encounters with men. It's happening right as we speak. And Lord, I took the sleeping pill, he got my ass spinning. I'm like, I hope y'all can understand what I'm saying. I mean, it's a lot, so. I'm not going to sit here and lie to you. Over the past, I'm 47, so I say since I got into my 40s, I've had so many guys that I thought were straight attempt to have sexual contact with me. That I was like, wow, what is going on here? And then it just clicked in my head one day and said, this is much bigger than what I thought it was. But we made it taboo because of false religion. If black women were more accepting of bisexual, bisexuality itself, they would have more husbands at home with their children, raising their families. So to worry about, oh, I don't even know gay guy, it should matter what he might be doing outside the relationship. They don't really, like I said, I don't believe in not those relationships. I've never seen more. So if you're in a marriage or a relationship or whatever, you better believe as time goes on, something going to happen. A lot of shit going to happen. So as I said, you should focus on making sure your partner has condoms. You see your man packing to go out of town, sneak over to his suitcase and just tuck your pack of condoms or something in there. And then call him and say, I got your gift in there. Make sure you use them if you have to. Now see, this takes a strong person mentally, because they're going to be also called, he cheated on me. We got to stop this foolishness. We got to start thinking. Because we destroyed the black family, we destroyed the family unit. Well, I better believe in the 30s, 40s, and 50s, there was a ton of black men having sex with men, but you didn't know this because they were married and had children. And but they were still having sex with men. And do I think there's some straight guys out there, 100% straight, who wouldn't? Oh, yeah, there are. But I don't put nothing past nobody today. I've had too many situations where I just knew this individual was straight. Um, and the more I, I dug into their lives, uh, 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 forgive me, because I took that damn Xanax and I'm like, Lord, I'm about to get off this damn video. Well, I just wanted to do this video because 
We're losing the family structure. Worry about something that may not even matter. What matters is if he's there in the home raising you all's children. That's what what matters. That's the most important thing about this. That he's there, he's actively involved in your life. Not some extra sexual curriculum activity he may be having with the side nigga. If he's taking care of home, you got a good husband who's not violent, beating your ass. He's paying the bills and feeding you, housing you, and the kids. I'm sure you know, black folks love to have some children. I and mean, then these are just my thoughts and opinions based upon my experiences in life. I've come across so many men who hide their sexuality as best they can. They don't want nobody to know. They go to great lips to teach me this is a secret. Can a, can a black woman have a safe, happy relationship with a gay man? I think it can be done. So to worry about what he's doing, make sure he's protect, using protection, whatever the hell might be going on. That's just my take on this. Sit down and talk to your husband, your fiance, whatever. Take the relationship in a different direction. Maybe so that, you know, so. The last stuff I want to say in this video, but as you can see, I'm barely keep my eyes open. If you like my videos, click like, share them with family members and friends, and I am exhausted after this video. Y'all, it's not even So I'm going to get my ass in this damn bed if I knock out on this damn floor over here. It's again. <sighs> what does this thing say? December, this Thursday, November. November 9th now, 2017. Um, I look forward to reading you all's comments and get your thoughts and opinions about um, why are there so many black gay men or bisexual men in the black community? And I have an answer for that. We'll talk about that in the next video. But I think I know the reason why so many black guys are involved within the gay relation, getting good. Some people involved in having, I'm losing my thoughts here. I, I, I have a theory why so many black men um, participate in gay tech. Uh, main thing is human nature to be sexual people. We've made it bad. Right, so I would date a gay guy. I would never be the man that was gay. What difference does it make? That man is feeding you, taking care of you, doing everything you're supposed to do at home. You're in a loving relationship. I take that any day over the shit that I see going on out here. If he ain't ripping around the streets and acting fool and doing stuff and take care of his business, what's the problem? Well, again, that's just my thoughts, my views on this subject matter. Everybody has a different thought process. Some women kept up with this about maybe the second, third time video. I did this, but I never said I did this one a little bit clearer than the other ones. But I think some people, as soon as they hear, find out this person's gay or bisexual or has had sex with any of these gay guys, they all know each other in Atlanta. And it's as big as y'all think, and just, everybody know everybody. So, the word gets around that you have a sexual relationship. Um, I don't know what to say about that part of it. But anyway, guys, I can't go any further. I'm about to pass out over here. <laughs> We're going to have to bed. It is Thursday, November 9th. The year is 2017. I hope I answered some of y'all's questions, sort of. If not, I did do a part to this video, and my head is clear. And I'm not about to pass out over here. I'm taking that damn down. I'm going to knock my ass out. Anyway, I'm out to you guys. Enjoy your Thursday. Uh, this, this, you know, what time is it? 12.34. So we are in Thursday now. 12.34 a.m. Anyway, thank you for watching my videos. Thank you for participating with me. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. Thanks for sharing my videos. Share, me, share my videos.
I appreciate that. Click on the link and put share and share my videos with people. And I, I would like to see larger audience of people uh, d discussing this problem. Not necessarily a problem, it's discussing acceptance. And that's the key. Black folks are going to have to accept this. The black community, we can't, we, you have to learn how to embrace a person's sexuality. Let them be themselves. Now, I do believe some of those guys are possibly bisexual, like men and women. It exists. I know people say it all the time. I'm like, really? But it does exist. A lot of people do believe that a lot of people are, um, cannot be in a monogamous relationship. And some can't do it. Anyway, I'm out. I'll speak to you all tomorrow. It's 12.36 at night. But like I said, we're on the 18th of November. We'll start on 17, 9, 18. <laughs> So you're flying back close to time. It's almost the time for looking for Thanksgiving turkey. But y'all, y'all saw my eyes closing one more time. Everything is just shut down. I can't even go to bed. So it's 1236 here at night in Atlanta. I'm out of here. You guys go enjoy your evening. I hope this made sense, what I was saying. We may need to do a video when I'm on my eyes list. Call it with an ambient. Is that ambient where am I at? Out right by now. Anyway, I'm out of here. Enjoy. Your evening.